Hello, this is John Ruman with the Sales Training Academy where I work with the real 007, Mr. Roger Moore. So if you need to boost your company's sales or if you need to understand what you can do to grow your business, we are the place to go to. Let me tell you about the five reasons people make a purchasing decision. So this is a study done by multinational companies and what they came up with this is products and services and the funny thing is, in everyone's mind, the primary reason people make a decision is price. I'm not going to tell you the order, and if you're watching this on Facebook, you actually see them on screen, but it's important to know that price is one of the top five. It's actually number five in the list. So let me go through them real quick. We have service, price, quality, Confidence of the salesperson and number five, customer choice or options and a feeling of control. So that's what I'm going to unpack today and give you some insight as to the mindset there and maybe some statistics that will help you better grasp the importance of this. This is an ideal live if you have one product or service or a bunch because what happens is the brain becomes overloaded. So let me give you a quick statistic. And then we'll go a little more in depth. They had two studies. One was, and this was jelly or preserves. They had six preserves. And then they had 26 or 27 preserves. So a few, several options and a plethora of options. What was fascinating is people were, more than, were 10 times more likely to make a purchase with six versus the 26, 27. And the more important thing is when 26 and 27 was the option, more times than not, they didn't even make a decision. So zero sales. So 10 times as many sales or no sales. Big difference. And I'm sure there is a sweet spot. If you go online to websites, you're going to see more common than not for an online service package or even things that you can just get information on, three options. The Holy Trinity, if you will. Statistically, five or less is the ideal. Three to five options. So an option of three is great or an option of five. Or variances thereof. So I'll give you an example. So three is really the ideal because it doesn't feel too big, but there's options. Let's say you pick three. One, two, three. Oh, I want the middle one. I like that one. Good. You do the middle one. Then you pick it. There may be a subcategory with other options. Again, you don't want to overload the person. So no more than five. They pick one, and there may be some sub options as well. Think about it. You buy a car. You choose the model. Well, let's go bigger. You choose the manufacturer. I want a Ford. You choose you want an SUV, truck, or car. Simplified. Oh, I want the truck. Good. Truck. Pick the truck. Within the truck, there's a handful of models. I want that model. Good. Pick the engine. Good. Pick the interior. Good. But you see within them, there's no more than six or seven choices. So it enables you to, hey, upload. Good to see you, Chris. It enables you to not feel overloaded. Have you ever been in a sales situation where you go into the store or whatever and you feel that you're being pressured into this choice. That is the problem with the singular or even just two choices. You don't have enough variety. And with a plethora, Baskin Robbins, most people know Baskin Robbins. They are the million one flavor ice cream store. I think it's 51 or whatever flavors, whatever, 50 something flavors. I know people that literally have to think mm -hmm. about it and plan a day or so before they actually go. In other words, they don't go in the store and look at everything and make a decision. It's that big a decision. That level of overwhelm shows that it's too much. If you own a restaurant and there's too many things on the menu, it becomes overwhelming. People do it again for variety, but it makes it harder to make a decision. So it's better to have a more concise quality menu, concise quality service list, 
product list, whatever, than this enormous one. And again, not too small. So it, if it's too small, people feel pushed into buying one thing. That's the problem with car uh, salespeople, for example, that only have one make or model. So if you, even if you sell one make, but you offer six cars, it's options. <coughs> We're getting a rainstorm where I am. So if you hear that, there you go. So it's important that you give people options. You don't pigeonhole people into limited choice and make them feel confined and find the balance that works for you. And again, the common approach for this is three to five. And then if you have more detailed ones under that, subcategories, once you make decision one, good. We go to the next page. Here on decision one are the four options. Pick one. Good. And, and, and so let's say there's interior, color, and engine on a vehicle. You pick the vehicle. Good. Engine. Good. Color. Good. And, uh, I don't know, leather, cloth, and stereo. Whatever they are. But the point is... You're not asking them to decide all at one time. You'll have them go through each decision separately, and there's never going to be more than too many decisions. That's important. So when you create your product or service, have this in mind. I hope this has been beneficial for your mind in growing how you actually offer things. And when you actually come out with things, let me take this a, another step deeper especially if you have an, um, a business that has a very premium product and that's what you sell. You can call it a pyramid, pyramid approach or a ladder approach, whatever. But basically what you're going to do is to come up with a free or nominal priced item. Let's just say free. And then you have a, an item that's usually very inexpensive. It can be as little as $1 or as much as $10. Very affordable that many, 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 many people will love and it directly correlates with the more expensive product offerings you have. It's The next logical step is just something bigger and better. But there's something psychologically that happens when you make a purchase of something that's inexpensive. It's called a tripwire. And now that person now is exchanging monetary value with you. It's not just a free exchange at this point. They're paying you. So now, once you've done a dollar, two dollar, five dollar, seven dollar, twenty dollar, now it opens up a whole new level of arrangement with you. So that would be valuable. So that's called a tripwire. So then you may do something 30 or 40 US, 100 US, 200, 1,000, 5,000, 10,000, 100,000. Obviously, there's less people the higher up the pyramid. You need to be in business longer the higher up the pyramid is because to build that level of trust and people that love you that much, but it's quite possible. So let me tell you about the upcoming events that are happening for sales training. We actually have three now. We had two before. We have the Cold Calling Masterclass, which is on the 9th of September. It's a Saturday, 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Role playing, cold calling. We have a lot of people interested. So if you're actually interested, let me know. Shoot me a message, whatever. That class may be, it, it, it's very popular. We just released today. You'll see the event if you go to the Sales Training Academy page. We just released today the Customer Service Excellence, which is designed to help all of us in customer service to better communicate with clientele to help them to, one, make it more engaging when they come in and more welcoming, but also enable it that when challenges come up, they feel good, and more importantly, to make it so that they want to refer business. Every person that's referred you business, there's nine people they'll refer throughout their lifetime. So it's invaluable to make a good relationship. And then last but not least, make sure you understand how to, how to handle the stress of angry customers and how to kind of calm your energy and and help with that. So we'll, we'll do all those things. That That is a simulation-based class as well, just like the cold calling class. And then last but not least, Six Weeks to Sales Mastery, which is a comprehensive six-module class starting with elevator pitch and creating a good positive energy and positive day to networking and meeting total strangers to finding the uh, what to say in cold calling and we'll come up with a script. We practice tonality. The entire class is simulation. And then the class after that is actually the physical meeting that you set from this cold call. 
meeting after that is the close and all the fun objections you get in sales. So we'll help you to get more closes that way. And then last but not least, we take all of the previous five classes and it's one great three hour simulation, about two hours of the three hours. And it will help you to rehash. There's no tests because, because the methodology of how we teach, you will retain 90% of what you learn. So this will be a impactful, invaluable course. And I promise you and your team, you will get better sales. They will become more confident. They will be better on the phone. They will be better at meeting total strangers. They'll know what to say. It's awesome. So that class is on the 13th of September, which is a Thursday. It's six Thursdays in a row, starting from 6 p.m., ending at 9 p.m. All three of these events and workshops and courses and such are in St. Augustine. So the six-week class, 6 p.m. to 9 p.m., what else? Oh, the total cost is 3000 TT. We do offer a payment plan where you can do 500 to reserve your spot, 1000 on class one, and then by class five, a full month out, a full pay cycle. You can pay the balance of 1500 or you can just pay the whole thing one time, whatever is easier for you. So any questions, shoot us a message on here, whatever various social media network you have. If you have a larger organization and your organization needs help with the team, we will specialize the training for you. So while you may want the whole thing, a whole three days, which is how we do the six-week class, sometimes we'll just do the cold call and networking. Sometimes we'll do the start of the day and the cold call. So we'll, we'll mix and match modules if you want or do the entire three-day thing, three-day certificate course with your team, as well as we'll do the customer service with them as well. We have two versions of the customer service. First one you're seeing when you look at the event page is all about the in-house customer service. Someone comes to your store, how to handle that. And we'll do another one on answering the phone and how to handle those challenges. So this will be something that we'll be um, doing at a future date but the first one is the in-house version so thank you so much i hope you have an amazing rest of your day let me know any further questions you have and i hope that you now change the choices and customer options for your clients as well thank you bye-bye